It's not safe out here, Harley. It's not safe. Die, you little round bastards! What the hell are you thinking? Get back in the tower! Oh, <laughs> 
shit now, you bastards! I'm gonna blow you all to hell!
think we lost him. Watch out! Up there! Oh, Christ!
ready. Take aim. Fire. Don't get me! Fucking pigs!
to your grave, motherfucker. <laughs> Like the fire too much. He took Malcolm with him. They're with us now. Word is born.
Anybody hear me? Damn. Fucking cave bullshit. Should have never come in here. Hey, you. You gotta get me out of here. Fucker tried to kill you. He was confused. Leave him to rot. You gotta blow this wall without killing me. Killing me. Hey, you, you gotta get me out of here. Thanks, man. I would have gotten out of there myself, but you just sped the shit up. Hey, sorry about trying to blow you up back there, but I thought you were a hack. Look, I've been in Abbott too long, damn it. Look, I ain't going back. You feel me? Come on. We gotta get to the lighthouse. What's the hold up? Clock's ticking.
What's the hold up? Are you with me, dog? Look, the lighthouse has a basement. It's like a bunker. Look, we can hold up there and wait until the dope wears off and these hacks are out of ammo. Look, it's tight up in these caverns, but I know all the shortcuts. It's hard enough being a black man in this country. You be a brother who wants to make something of himself, got himself some real bread. Clock's ticking. Look, the lighthouse has a basement. It's like a bunker. Look, we can hold up there and wait until the dope wears off and these hacks are out of ammo. Look, it's tight up in these caverns, but I know all the shortcuts. Thanks for helping me out back there, but I would have made it on my own. So don't act like you saved my life or nothing. I'm gonna make it through this bad trip. I don't need nobody. Officer down. It's 
stay strong. way. People in this country could care less about what happens to us on the inside. We might as well be dead. Hell, they wish we were. Now these hacks are capping us and no one gives a damn. What's the hold of? We're almost to the lighthouse. Come on. I don't think so. I have enough air. There's plenty of ventilation coming down. What food? When we run out of food, you're gonna be the first one we eat. It's right up here. Come on. Sweet. This is it. We're set now. It's like a vault in here. Nothing can get in. Nothing. You say something? Yes. What was that? I think the dough's coming back. Breathe deep. <coughs> that smell! <coughs> what in the fuck's going on? That always feels good. Interesting enough. Not like you. You understand how it feels. They needed someone professional to pull the switch. A lot of eager sadists applied, but I was the only one who took the work seriously. So seriously, I wanted to taste the gas myself. That's what Connor does. It brings out the killer inside. It's the perfect place for you and me. There's a difference between those that feel safest in the light and those that feel safest in the dark. Which are you, Torque?
the one place the beacon can't illuminate. I love the history incarnate. Over the years, every form of human killing has found its place. that feed. 
those that feel safest in the dark. situation who's to say you wouldn't you kill as many as me maybe you already have I used it all electric chair the rope rifles but gas was my favorite there's such a situation who's to say you 
wouldn't kill as many as me. It's this way! Sweet! This is it! We're set now. It's like a vault in here. Nothing can get in. Nothing? You say something? Yes. What was that? I think the dough's coming back. Breathe deep. <coughs> that smell! <coughs> what in the fuck's going on? That always feels good. He needed to go. He wasn't interesting enough.
more time together. Log, it's too thick. An electrical storm is disrupting navigational equipment. Lighthouse must be illuminated. the chances. I survived ten hours out here in this pit of hell, and I have to run into you? The scum who killed his own wife and children? Why, Pendeo? Huh? Why you do it? You going to kill me too? Come on, it may kill me. I dare you. Kill him before he kills you. Wait, he's just confused. So it turns out you don't have the cojones to kill me when you have the chance. You fucking inmate. 
Go to hell, I am done with you. He'll shoot you in the back. I hate you. All you inmates think CEOs are evil, but we are prisoners in Abbott as much as you. You ever think of that? When this shit happened, I immediately headed to town, down this road. I wanted to find Consuela and my daughters, my beautiful girls. But I got to our house, it was on fire. These fucking putas everywhere, no sign of my family. I have been looking ever since, and I will not give up. You still here, inmate? Torque. Isn't that what they call you? Well, come on, then. We may hate each other. We may die anyway. But we will kill more of these putas together than alone. Inmate! Hurry! The Coast Guard is our only hope to survive, and they need the lighthouse on in order to land here. But the earthquake knocked the power out. We need to get the generator started again. Follow me. Torque! Over here! What are they doing? Won't they let the dead Why rest? Why did they believe us? We never thought they'd really do it. It all went wrong. It was fun, at first. We didn't like them. We made them go away. Here. These dead do not sleep well. Not on Carnate. Look out for the fire. It's going to blow. I would be partners with an inmate. Filthy inmates. You brought hell to this island, didn't you? Always scheming. Us officers, we really done it this time. This inferno will kill us all. Are you happy now?
Professional! Forgot to... The generator is behind that fence there, but I don't know how to get in. Oh, even if we could, those creatures keep jumping out of that pit. I swear, inmate, it is as if that hole leads straight to hell. You have done it! 
The lights are up. Let's get back to the lighthouse and leave this evil place. You know what I hate? Those burning chicas remind me of my own daughters. My sweet, beautiful girls. Madre Dios. You inmates are a loco. But in this case, I can forgive it. Hurry up and get that generator going. Adelante! Time is my enemy. I must find Consuela. see you and the boys. I've got good news. Things are going well here. And I, I've got a proposition. I think we can make it work. For once, things are going to work out. I can't wait to see the boys and, and you too. I'll meet you at your apartment, okay? See you soon, T. ago there was a puritan village on this island three young girls accused villagers of being in league with the devil there were burnings i think this is where they did it they feared evil from within but they did not see the real enemy Diablos make... Oh, no, I mate. I do not think so. I'm not going on those You go or you are. I'll wait out here. on, but the light is not turning. The lighthouse is old and decrepit, half broken, but you will need to fix it. I will keep watch out here. You go inside.
This way, you mate. Vamanos. The light is on. Well, now the Coast Guard can come. Muchas gracias, Stork. You have proven yourself. I still say inmates are scum, but you, maybe less so, see? <laughs> yeah, come on, now we can make our way to town. Why do they call you Dork? What sort of name is that anyway? The road is gated up here. I don't know how we'll get through, but we will have to. It's not just Abbott. It's this whole island. It's a cesspool of human atrocity. People come here, they do things maybe they wouldn't normally do. Evil fucking shit. But you, you're different. You're the wild card in the deck. But you set me free. I never forget a death. I owed you. Now go on. You know what I hate? Find out what kind of man Those you are. Those chicas remind me of my own dog. <laughs> Beautiful. How could everything have come? What was that? Lightning? It almost hit us. Well, at least we can make it through the gates now. Come on. Over there! There's a hole in there. Daddy, these girls taught me a new game. Do you want to play, mister? understand what we just saw there. Did you kill your children, or did this place somehow do it? That kid has taken mine. Oh, these are black times. It hurts too much to stop and think about it. We must keep going. Those fucking creatures, they trapped us! It looks like our time has come! We'll never make it out of here alive. It is horrible to die this way after surviving so long. Never see my Consuela again.
we're done for. This smoke will kill us soon. To die this way after surviving so long. I will never see my consuelo. I think the fire is coming closer. We are done for. This smoke will kill us soon. It is horrible to die this way after surviving so long. I will never see my Consuela again. We are done for. This smoke will kill us soon. Kill us soon. It is horrible to die this way after surviving so long. I will never see my consuelo again. We are done for. This smoke will kill us soon. I think the fire is coming closer. Dios mio. A miracle. The fire is out. Again, you prove yourself. Uh, come on. We must get to town. You deal out death like a professional. In the name of my familia. You know how to kill. I can see that. Mala suerte. The road is out. There's no way across, and this is the only way to get to town. Inmate, watch out! That truck is on fire! father, right? Or were a father? I would 
would do anything to keep my children safe. I cannot imagine any parent who would... What Diablo was that? Well, at least we can make it across now. Come on! This way, you mate. Vamanos! Mother of God, who looked the town, it burns. My family, if they are still there, it is too terrible to think of. What has happened to this island? We must get to the town somehow. I must find Consuela. Inferno is too thick. I must go back to the town. I have to keep looking. You go on, inmate. Meet the Coast Guard at the docks. I will meet you there later. is complete. Your cure is at hand. 
You might think my methods a bit unorthodox, but my results will speak for themselves. Ahead, you will encounter something altogether unlike what you've seen before. But I have something that can help you. A device that can cure you, put your demons to rest. But only if it is sufficiently powered, and only if you are in your more, shall we say, primal form. Use this correctly, and you cannot help but be cured. You do want to be cured, don't you, Talk? It's up to you now. like a shadow. I didn't see him, and then he was there. Oh, Daddy, I wish you could have been there. I know you would have kept us safe. us to get to you, didn't they? I forgive you, Dad. You couldn't keep us safe forever. I just wish I could have said goodbye. is complete. Your cure is at hand. 
You might think my methods a bit unorthodox, but my results will speak for themselves. Ahead, you will encounter something altogether unlike what you've seen before. But I have something that can help you, a device that can cure you, put your demons to rest. But They killed us to get to you, didn't they? I forgive you, Dad. You could. had the worst luck, T. We didn't work out for so long. And when we got close, it all got taken away. You'd never hurt us, not on purpose. No matter how angry you got at the world, you always loved me and the boys. Now's the time, T. You need to face down the anger you have inside. Remember, I'm right there with you. Thank you. 
sends his regards. Back in Eastern, he warned you, but you didn't listen. He said to leave you alive, only you. Enjoy your new life. coming to pick up anybody else who's left. Hold on. You're that guy Torque, ain't you? I heard about you in the news. I got a friend at the DA's office. Says the prosecutor on your case is being indicted. Says you probably get a new trial. Guess it's your lucky day, huh? Jesus. You look like you've really been through hell. Somebody's missing from this picture, T. I don't want us to ever be apart again. Love always, Carmen. Welcome to Carnate, inmates. Enjoy your stay. Any of you got jackrabbit blood, I will blow you wide open. Hear me? This is Cash. We're Doc. Send the bus. And hurry it up. You don't look happy to be here. here tonight. Can't believe I'm back in this motherfucker. Any of you get out of line, I will shoot you, I I've will bury you, and I will piss on, on your earth. grave, you dig? They disgust me. Don't strip your jeans, man. Yeah, yeah, I know so that bad. guy. They were so bad. Yo, Ralph. You have to be here. What cunt you kill this time? Fuck off, Lou. Or your punk ass is next. I got a low tolerance for inmate bullshit. You see that guy? <laughs> Fucking degenerate killed some kids. His own kids is what I heard. Shit. This ain't the kind of whack job I want for a bunk man. Won't be around for long. The shitbag's joining the short timers on death row. Oh, shit. He'll appeal and appeal and appeal. Cocksucker got eight years left. He's Fucking travesty. I say we speed it up. Cut him down to size. Yeah, 
COs won't give a damn if we shiv him. We're just saving him the trouble. I say we do. I'm in. Hell yeah. Let's do this shit. Look alive. Shit's going down. Easy pickings. I'm begging damn you. Damn it. I think those shit's in there. You ready for this? I ain't Jesus done nothing Christ. to you, man. How many times have I done this, and I still hate it? I swear, Abbott's full enough already. <laughs> At least when you escort an inmate to death row. Contained in these pages are my observations of the bizarre creatures that have appeared on Carnate Island since the cataclysm struck. The creatures emerge in a variety of ways, but many of them appear to come from within the island itself, as if the very earth of Carnate were poisonous and vile. Though I scarcely have time to keep a journal like this while trying to keep myself alive, my inquisitive nature forces me to write down what I see in the hope that I might better understand it. But how can this unspeakable horror possibly be understood? It is as if Carnet's horrific sins, both past and present, are being brought to life in a pageant of death. Slayer, I first witnessed these creatures jumping out of the ground itself. Their heads were detached from their torsos, held aloft by hideous contraptions. Their limbs have been replaced by blades of the sharpest steel. To my eyes, they appear to be a manifestation of decapitation. Yet it seems improbable anyone ever had their head chopped off an abbot. I suppose uncarnate anything is possible. I have dubbed these monstrosities slayers. Marksman. Based on the battery of rifles attached to its back and the blindfold around its head, this marksman appears to be the reincarnation of a military firing squad. Abbott was originally a POW camp during World War II, so it seems likely they would have had executions of that sort. Indeed, there are stories of a rogue colonel who was to be court-martialed, but instead took his own life. Perhaps he is connected to these abominations. Mainliner. In the 1970s, lethal injection was introduced as the most humane means of state-sanctioned killing. To date, 25 such procedures have taken place in Abbott. This creature, I call him the Mainliner, appears to suffer with every move he makes. Perhaps the mixture of sodium pentothal, pancoronium bromide, and potassium chloride in his veins is not to his liking. The numerous needles jabbed into his body cannot help his disposition. Nooseman. Not only is this nooseman dead from being hung by the neck, but he also appears to have had his skin removed. 
I wonder if these creatures are tied to the legendary story of the inmates who, outraged by the death of fellow workers in a quarry mining accident, hung in skinned five COs. The noose men are more supernatural than many of their brethren, ripping themselves straight out of the ceiling in some entirely impossible manner. Burrower. These burrowers are some of the most lethal creatures I have encountered, primarily due to their ability to spring forth from the ground itself and just as quickly resubmerge. They're closely tied to the very soil of Carnate, a theme among these monstrosities. Its appearance is of a human body tied up in a gunny sack and constrained by leather straps with deadly steel chains attached to various locations. I believe they represent those buried alive. Fester, continually emerging from the slave ship, these are the festering creatures who foil my attempts to escape this confounded rock. Rats live within their flesh, writhing within it and then springing forth randomly. They appear to be a reincarnation, not of the slaves, for well, then they would be a darker skin tone, but instead of the slave traders. In this form, they are forced to live out again and again the fate they forced upon those hapless slaves. Inferno. From what I have witnessed, this manifestation of evil appears to have two distinct forms. The first, a young girl in Puritan dress, perhaps 13 years of age. This transforms into an altogether more disturbing flaming creature. Both clutch a small handmade doll. To my mind, there is no doubt that these creatures are tied to the three young girls who made witchcraft accusations in the late 1600s and led to the incendiary death of 11 innocents. Dr. Kiljoy. One of Abbott's most persistent legends tells of Dr. Kiljoy, the quite insane psychiatrist surgeon who ran an asylum on Carnate. Doing research of my own, I found that he did indeed exist, though which stories are true and which are fabrication is anyone's guess. Since the cataclysm, I have three times seen a surgeon formed of pure light, reminiscent of 16 millimeter film projection come to life. Could this be the fine doctor? Horus. Many inmates break once inside Abbott, but none have snapped more extremely than Horus Gage, who, the tale goes, became convinced his wife wasn't safe without his protection and sliced her to ribbons during a conjugal visit. He ended up in the mercy chair, electrocuted by Abbott's then executioner, Hermes Haight. For years, inmates have said he haunts Abbott, and I believe I saw him ten minutes ago. I surely wish I had not. Hermes. Since the cataclysm, I have several times found myself mysteriously surrounded by noxious green fumes. I have fled in each case, and I think if I had not, I might not be alive to write this now. Within the gas, I have seen a humanoid who seemed to take great joy in the prospect of my death. Could this be Hermes, Abbott's resident executioner for several decades? If I recall, he took his own life in the gas chamber. I only briefly saw this enormous creature a single time, near the docks. I cannot even begin to describe him, save for one thing. He seems to be quite literally connected to an inmate the convicted killer talk. Incredible as it may sound, this creature appears to have a miniature version of Tork attached to him via a long umbilicus. Beyond that, I can only say that I view him as the most evil of all the creatures, a pure manifestation of fury and hatred. Tork's family. In one of my other entries, I discussed Tork, the notorious inmate who seems at ease dispatching these creatures. 
I recall seeing in the sun a picture of the man's ex-wife and two boys, and I have drawn it here from memory. I remember they were a beautiful family, and it seems unbelievable that any man so blessed would have the audacity to kill them so savagely. But as we all know, beauty alone is often not enough. When Ernesto took his job at Abbott, I was far from excited. When he told me we would need to move to Carnate Island as well, I was not happy at all. But I tried to find a good side to the situation. I have always been interested in the history of unique places. What kind of history would we find on Carnate? This scrapbook project was started primarily to fill my time here, but also so I could record what I had discovered in my exploration of the island. I uncovered many of Carnate's secrets. Though I record them here, I do not think I will tell the world about what I have found. Carnate is a place whose secrets are best kept to itself. The island. Carnate Island is approximately three miles wide and lies some 10 miles off the coast of Maryland. In addition to man-made structures, Carnate is also home to a labyrinthine natural cave system, unlike anything I have seen before. Through my studies, I learned of the island's dark and unsettling history. Though it may sound ridiculous to say it, Carnate seems to bring out the worst in those who make the mistake of coming here. Abbott State Penitentiary. Originally built as part of Fort Mallison to house German POWs during World War II, it was taken over by Maryland following the war and converted into Abbott State Penitentiary. Mostly built out of local quarry rock, the prison is now home to nearly 1,000 inmates and has the worst safety record and highest homicide rate of any prison in the Maryland Department of Corrections system. The state also carries out the majority of its death sentences here. The Death House. The most ominous structure inside of Abbott is the Death House. Electrocution, gas, and lethal injection have all been used within its walls, though only the last is still used today. The Death House is also the prison's oldest structure, built as the administration building when the prison was a POW camp. Its basement was also built during the war, and in it, you can still see relics of that time. The basement has been closed off for 20 years. Prison Cemetery. When an inmate dies and his family does not claim the body, he is buried here. The cemetery is named after the infamous corrections officer, Hermes T. Haight. He was in charge of executions for several decades before finally killing himself in the gas chamber. Also buried here is notorious inmate Horace Gage, who savagely killed his wife on a conjugal visit. To me, the cemetery is the most bleak and depressing place on all of Carnate. The Quarry. At the same time the prison started operation, digging commenced at Carnate Quarry. Prisoners were forced to work this quarry for 12 hours a day, cutting the rock that would be used to build the prison walls. Work conditions in the quarry were far from ideal. Inmates who complained were severely disciplined. Carnate Quarry has not been in use since the 1960s, with its mining equipment simply abandoned where it stood to rust and collapse. Caving. At some point in the mid-50s, Weak mine shaft support beams gave way and trapped a number of quarry workers under several tons of rubble. The official story was that the prisoners were killed instantly. Other inmates maintained that the workers survived the collapse, but no attempt was made to rescue them. The inmates were so enraged, they revolted against the COs and lynched five of them. What really happened may never be known. The Asylum. On the far western edge of Carnate stands an old Victorian home built in 1877. In 1899, the home was converted into the oddly titled Carnate Institution for the Alienated. This small institution was run by one Dr. Kiljoy, 
whose methods were far from conventional and often tragically lethal. What exactly happened to Dr. Killjoy is unknown, but the asylum was abandoned in the 1930s and has been uninhabited ever since. Slave shipwreck. On the northwestern beach of the island is a massive shipwreck from the early 18th century. The ship carried a cargo of slaves and was en route to Norfolk when it was knocked off course and crashed. Apparently the traders feared releasing the slaves they carried and instead left them trapped in the hull where they were slowly eaten by rats. How the ship has survived the elements nearly three centuries is certainly a mystery. The bluff. On the south side of the island near Fort Mallison, there is a bluff which appears to have been forgotten since the 1940s. Along the ocean side of the bluff are three wood posts riddled with bullets to which dead bodies are still attached. This seems to be the site of the little known 1944 execution of three American soldiers. Executed on suspicion of treason, no actual evidence of wrongdoing was ever found. World War II Fort. Built in 1942, Fort Mallison served as both coastal defense facility and POW camp. The fort had some 250 men and held approximately 1,000 prisoners. The fort's most notorious story is of its colonel, who executed three of his men for treason because a German airplane crashed on the island. A subsequent court martial found no evidence to justify these executions, and the colonel ended up taking his own life. Old Cemetery. This cemetery is home to the remains of 11 Puritans who were accused of witchcraft and burned at the stake in 1681. Witch burning was all but unheard of on this continent, with other suspected witches, such as those in Salem, having met their demise at the end of a rope. It appears that hanging was not enough for the residents of Goodsmouth. No doubt because Carnate Island is a place that drives people to extremes. Burning Site. In the 17th century, Carnate was home to a small Puritan village named Goodsmouth. In 1681, for unknown reasons, a 13-year-old girl accused several townsfolk of witchcraft. Joined by two close friends of hers, the trio formed an unholy alliance, which led to the burning of 11 people, all of whom are interred nearby. Shortly thereafter, the girls mysteriously disappeared. This is the place where those terrible burnings occurred. The Lighthouse. The Lighthouse is the oldest standing structure on Carnate Island. Its cornerstone states its date of construction as 1834. The light was originally oil-powered, but since the 1950s has run off of a nearby generator. Similarly, the lighthouse's rotation was originally powered by a system of gears that would periodically need to be re-cranked. To this day, when the power goes off, the motion needs to be restarted by hand cranking. The town. Built on the site of the Puritan village of Goodsmouth, this town is home to nearly 30 corrections officers and their families. It has a single dilapidated general store, a small overgrown park, and a church that for as long as anyone can remember has had no minister. It is generally agreed that no one would live in this depressing place were it not for the daunting distance back to the mainland and lack of ferry service. The docks. The only functional dock remaining on Carnate, this is the sole point of entry for inmates and their visitors, as well as corrections officers, and those of us who happen to be married to them. I remember the first day I came to Carnate. It was raining in sheets, and the ship had trouble docking. I remember thinking the island didn't want us coming here. I've long thought it would have been better if we had turned back then. <laughs> 